They're going to report anybody and everybody they suspect of having a firearm, illegal or not, and then this will give the police the probable cause to go into your home illegally, search it for other contraband, and arrest you for that and probably take your gun even if it's if it's legal. They've done it before. They'll do it again. Larry Pratt, what's your take? Well, it's a really slick plan if you like the way they did business in Nazi Germany or in Soviet Union or in Castro's Cuba. Uh, it's a surefire plan to make sure that nobody trusts anybody that it's impossible to conspire against the government, even politically, let alone any other way, because <laughs> you you may be talking to a snitch that's going to turn you in. And uh, the I guess the other thought that comes to my mind, in addition to the totalitarian outrageousness of that mayor's uh, views, uh, is that he is... Uh, and no doubt a typical product of government schooling and probably has no idea that the term militia in our Constitution and in our Bill of Rights, uh, that term had 150 years of very clear, settled meaning, and that was that every free man between certain ages had to have a military toward the end in the uh, beginning of the early Republican period, uh, have a military rifle, and not to have one under colonial law would get you a fine. So <laughs> here he wants to pay the opposite. He wants to pay a bounty for snitching out when somebody uh, has a gun, which under the Constitution... He's supposed to have, especially if it's today's battle rifle, there's no question that that's what every male, free male in this country should have uh, in his possession. And here you've got this nut that assumes that somehow the criminals are going to be flummoxed by a plan which, as you point out, uh, the ones that will really game this plan are the criminals. <laughs> and in my playbook tonight... As if health care reform doesn't have enough problems. Now the gun lobby's getting in the act trying to shoot it down. The Gun Owners of America organization is telling its members that the health care bill that we're considering in America will let President Obama take away their weapons. Let me bring in the executive director of that group, Larry Pratt. Mr. Pratt, explain your position on this. Do you really believe that if we pass health care reform in this country that it's going to restrict gun ownership? I need an explanation on this one. Good to well, have you with us. Good evening, and thank you for uh, having me on. There's two main concerns that we have with this health care legislation. The first is that for quite some time there's been a building of uh, privacy invasion starting in 2007. Medical records were... Uh, uh, had to be computerized and sent to the FBI if they had anything to do with uh, you might be a danger to self or others. No trial, no conviction, no due process. Just send the names over and away goes the so right to keep the arms. So you think the database and, and all the information gathering would help law enforcement deny and laws help deny people getting guns? Uh, denying is not the problem. It's doing it without due process, without a trial, without any of those sorts of protections that uh, uh, a real criminal would have. And so we're treating people as if they were criminals. Well, what if somebody's got a mental condition? I mean, would you want Mr. Hassan, after all he wrote, would you, you think it's okay for him to go in and buy a gun because he ended up shooting and killing a bunch of people and wounding another 40? I, I mean... Well, I think instead of ignoring his jihadi tendencies, as the review board did and said, well, we don't have enough Muslims in the military, so we got to let him go through, I think the thing to do would have been, at a minimum, kick him out of the military and... Uh, let me maybe finish go tonight from there. with what I think about Americans who think they need guns to protect themselves from their own government. We start with today's pro-gun rallies in Washington and Virginia. Larry Pratt is executive director of Gun Owners of America. And Skip Coriel is the founder of the Second Amendment March. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Larry, what do you make of the U.S. government? Is it bad? 
Uh, the U.S. government is too big. It has uh, powers that it's exercising that are unconstitutional, socialistic, and uh, I think that is the mood that more and more Americans are coming to realize um, is shared with a lot of their friends and neighbors, and I think we're aiming to uh, take it down a peg or two. Korea, it's a great country, isn't it, Larry? And we do have our freedoms. We just proved it. You guys with all this paranoia are crazy. There's plenty of freedom in this country. Open Coming up, I prove it every night, Chris. sir. Thank you, Chris. Every night I prove we have freedom. Thank you very much for coming on, and you've helped prove it with me. President Obama is coming to New York. To... Larry Pratt, Executive Director of Gun Owners of America. Larry, are you a married man? I am indeed, very happily for several decades. Did you get a Did you get a uh, Valentine's Day card from your wife? I did not, but you know it's only fair, Glenn, because I didn't send one either.